Hey guys, it's Noki. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to review the latest Natasha Denona bronze palette. I ordered it from Beautylish, the website, because the launch day in the UK will be 10th of July and I didn't expect this would take so long to arrive. I thought it would be like 5-7 days. I was being too positive, I guess. Okay, so talking about the palette, shall we have a look? It's a magnet case, total bronze, and have a look on the color story. Very warm toned, bronzy and coppery. The eyeshadows from the smaller palette of Natasha Denona always have some mixed reviews. Some people say it's not as good as the eyeshadows from the bigger palette. I only have Sunset, the bigger palette, and I love the texture of the eyeshadows. So I guess we'll see if the eyeshadow is good enough from this bronze palette. Shall we start? Okay, the first color, True Copper. Coppery color, a shimmery glitter, very high pigmented, easy to apply on. A little bit of fallout, but not too much. The second one, Sun Tan. It's a matte shade, a brown color. It has a little bit of red tone to it. Okay, the third color, Sundown. It's a dark orange, another matte color. Okay, the fourth color, the darkest color from this palette, Deep Dive. I think it's a very dark brown black, very easy to apply. Okay, the next color, Rhodium. It's looking like a dark taupey grayish purple with some tiny silver glitter. I think this color is very pretty, but you need to be careful with it. Okay, the next shade, the second row from this palette, Magma, another matte shade. It's definitely a reddish brown, very high pigmented and you can apply it on really smoothly. Okay, next one, high degree, a reddish coppery color with tiny golden glitters, smooth as always, has amazing pigmentation. Next color, Alloy. It's looking like a yellowy copper. This one, the texture is similar to True Copper. More of a shimmery, glittery color. Very smooth. Okay, the next one, Rich. It's a yellowy light brown. You can use this shade as first layer to create the depth on your eyes. The next shade, another shimmery glittery color, True Bronze. A lot of colors are quite similar, I have to say. Slightly more pink tone, slightly more orangey tone, slightly more yellow tone, but all really similar. True Bronze. You can see the silver and golden tiny glitters. Okay, the third row of this palette. I think when I saw the swatches on Natasha Denona's Instagram, she said this color is dual chrome. Yeah, you can see the golden tone to it, but it's not really obvious. I think it's basically come from the golden glitters. Okay, next one, Palladium. It's a coppery brown, shimmery color, very smooth, has high pigmentation. Okay, the next one, another dual chrome color, Bliss. Okay, this one, you can see the dual chrome, slightly more obvious. The base color is dark warm toned pink with the tiny golden green glitters very pretty and the next color silk it's another shimmery glittery color it's a neutral bronze because it's not too golden it's not too orange not too reddish okay the last color from this palette beach it's another matte shade just to look at it you thought it's like a beige color but when you try it on it's more of a color in between dark beige and light brown i think it's a dark page you can use this one as a base as well
after trying on four different eye looks with this bronze palette, I have to say the texture of the eyeshadows are as good. They are really smooth, have high pigmentation, really easy to apply on just a little bit of fallout, not too much. The only thing is, a lot of colors are really similar. Some of the colors are slightly more yellow tone, some of the colors are slightly more golden, some slightly more orangey, but just a little bit different. I guess even if you're using different colors on different eyes, if you're applying them in similar way, I bet two eyes would look alike. The other thing is I couldn't find one good base color from this palette, something like beige ivory. There's nothing here. The lightest option will be either this one, beach, or this one, sundown. But they are like dark peach or yellowy brown, so not the same. Also, you couldn't find a really light highlighting shade, something you can put on your brow bone. You couldn't find anything like that. Because all the shades from this palette, they are a little bit too bold. They're there is nothing beige or champagne-y kind of color. I think the only shade I would put on my inner corner will be this one, Silk. Because this one is not too orangey, not too bronzy, not too coppery, slightly more subtle. All the others, if you put on your inner corner, they are a little bit strong. I'm not saying you couldn't do that, but sometimes you just want to go out for a daily look. It's really difficult to find one. For the price, $65, 60 pounds in the UK, I think it's well worth it for the quality of the eyeshadow. Compared to the bigger palette, it was like $125. This one is like half price. However, if you already have a lot of coppery, bronzy colors at home, maybe you can skip on this one. So yeah, that's my opinion of this Natasha Denona's bronze palette. Let me know what you think, if you like it or not, or you think it's a total waste. Leave a comment below and let me know. I will see you next time. Bye-bye!